Welcome to Team Nittenhall's video project. This video is narrated by all team members, Michael Shu, Colin Kim, and Kevin Allman. The main focus of this video is introducing silicone hydrogels as a viable option for the manufacturing of contact lenses. Nowadays, myopia or nearsightedness is a commonplace issue globally. To fix this, people wear eyewear in the form of glasses or contact lenses. Oftentimes, contact lenses become uncomfortable to wear for long periods of time. The most common problem is hypoxia, which is due to a lack of oxygen to the cornea. Lenses may even scratch, thereby damaging the cornea, leading to scarring and other complications. External mineral deposits may also cause infections and side effects, such as eyelid and eye inflammation. Thus, the challenge we are attempting to solve is to introduce a material that will make wearing contact lenses more comfortable and safe. As you can see from this animation, a person with nearsightedness experiences blurry vision because light rays are focused at a point in front of the retina. In this next animation, a person who is using a concave lens such as contact lenses experiences good vision because the light is focused differently and refracts through the lens and hits the retina. Contact lenses are thin discs placed directly over the cornea of the eye. They stay in place due to the layer of tear fluid coating the eye and the pressure of the eyelid. They are able to be made much smaller and thinner than eyeglasses because they sit directly over the eye rather than half an inch away, allowing for equal light focusing ability despite a smaller surface. All contact lenses used to be made of polymethyl methacrylate, or PMMA hard plastic, which does not absorb water or allow oxygen to pass, causing irritation. But these were made obsolete with the introduction of gas permeable lenses in 1978, which are also rigid but allow the passage of oxygen. Hard plastic was soon replaced by soft plastic to absorb more water and reduce irritation. According to the FDA, Soft contact lenses are made of soft, flexible plastics that allow oxygen to pass through to the cornea. Soft contact lenses may be easier to adjust to and are more comfortable than rigid gas permeable lenses. Newer soft lens materials include silicone hydrogels to provide more oxygen to your eye while you wear your lenses. Soft contact lenses, hydrogels, are hard when dry, but in the presence of water they become soft, flexible, and gel-like. In 2002, silicone hydrogel lenses were introduced to allow more oxygen permeability than traditional hydrogel contact lenses. Compared to other hydrogel contact lenses, silicone hydrogel lenses can allow up to five times more oxygen to reach the cornea. Silicone hydrogel lenses are manufactured by combining silicone rubber with hydrogel monomers such as N-vinyl pyrrolidine, methacrylic acid, and poly-2-hydroxyethyl methacrylate. The top molecule is silicone rubber, the bottom left molecule is N-vinyl pyrrolidine, the bottom middle is poly-2-hydroxyethyl methacrylate, and the bottom right is methacrylic acid. The combination of these two materials can be difficult because the silicone component is hydrophobic, while the hydrogel monomer is hydrophilic. If not done properly, large phase separations occur in the material, which causes an impairment to visual clarity of the lens. As seen in the short video clip, distinct phase separations occur during nucleation. New technology has been created that has minimized the phase separations, although it's still important to look to new methods that are more efficient. Wettability is the tendency of a fluid to spread over a solid surface in the presence of other surrounding immiscible liquids and measured by the contact angle between the given fluid and the surface. The smaller the contact angle, the greater the wettability. In general, contact lenses with high wettability will allow a thick coverage of the tear film, a smooth recovery of the tear layer after the eyes are closed, and good visual acuity. A good wetting surface will prevent changes to the under surface of the eyelid as the eye blinks over the contact lens. The relatively hydrophobic surface of silicone hydrogels, however, produces a poor, wettable surface. The nature of it being hydrophobic is due to the silicone hydrogel molecules being nonpolar causing the intermolecular forces to be weak and thus not attracted to polar molecules like water. Moreover, the contact angle for hydrophobic materials is greater than 90 degrees, as shown in the graph. Now we know why wettability is important and how it pertains to silicone hydrogels. To solve this limitation, wetting agents will be used in co concurrence with the use of 
silicone hydrogel lenses. The wetting agents are used in the form of complementary eye drops. Hypoxia induced by the contact lens allows insufficient oxygen to reach the cornea, which can lead to irritation, infections, blurred vision, cornea swelling, and red eyes. The ability of oxygen to diffuse through the contact lens is measured by oxygen permeability divided by thickness. Traditional contact lenses rely on water to carry or diffuse oxygen through the lens. In silicone hydrogel lenses, oxygen diffuses through the silicone resulting in a much higher oxygen permeability and decay value as seen from the graph. Moreover, the decay value of oxygen passing through the hydrogels is low, showing hydrogel lens to be less effective. A typical hydrogel contact lens hydrated through eye drops has a water content of approximately 38%. The increased diffusion of oxygen through the silicone hydrogels results in a reduced limbal redness and neovascularization and cornea swelling. Conventional hydrogel lenses are made of soft plastic that conforms easily to the shape of the eye, but lacks the oxygen permeability of silicone hydrogels. Gas permeable contact lenses are made of hard plastic, allowing for sharper optics than silicone hydrogels and they allow oxygen permeability through pores, but the hardness often leads to increased discomfort. Hybrid contact lenses contain a rigid gas permeable zone in the center to allow for sharper optics, and this center is surrounded by a region of silicon hydrogel to allow for increased oxygen permeability. An optimal fit distributes the lens weight evenly across the eye surface to minimize mechanical interaction with the cornea. In general, a higher Young's modulus, degree of stiffness, means more local pressure variations and that the lens will conform less to the shape of the eye, meaning more discomfort. However, a stiffer lens will generally perform more optimally due to less distortion over time. Silicone hydrogel lenses have a higher Young's modulus than other soft contact lenses, meaning that they are less likely to conform to the natural curvature of the eye. A wetting agent reduces the Young's modulus because this long chain flexible molecule with, hy with hydrophilic heads increases the amount of water absorbed by the lens, which increases the elasticity and allows the lens to conform to the shape of the eye. Another issue with silicone hydrogel lenses is that studies have shown that they tend to attract more lipid deposits during wear, leading to blurry vision and discomfort. As shown in this picture, lipid deposits have formed a hazy layering over the lens. The graph compares lipid deposition of two silicone hydrogels, lotrophilcon and balophilcon, with a conventional hydrogel, edophilcon. Note that the presence of silicon leads to a much greater lipid deposition after 30 days of continuous wear. Lipid deposition has been linked to lower wettability, which as discussed previously can be counteracted with the use of wetting agents. Overall, silicone hydrogel contact lenses are a breakthrough technology increasing oxygen permeability while maintaining wettability to improve comfort. Because silicone hydrogel lenses are fairly new to the market, the costs of these lenses are higher on average, but the costs are expected to decline over time with increased availability. In conclusion, more research needs to be conducted to improve the issue of wettability. Currently, there are products that help rehydrate the lens to reduce issues with discomfort and lipid deposits but changes to the structure and composition of silicon hydrogels could eliminate the need for such extraneous products that only add to the total cost of using this kind of contact lens.